signal. Is Marty coming or not? Oh, I'm here. Are you okay? Fine. I don't said to give you this. Just two words away from forever. I love you. Dylan. I'll tell him. Oh, you look so beautiful. Thank you, Larry. I'm just so proud to be here with you, Marty. Thank you. And, and I think you know that, well, I hope you feel that your parents are here with you in spirit. I know they, they wish you and Dylan uh, a very happy life together. <laughs> okay, everybody. This is it. Are you girls ready? Yeah. Allie, you ready? Uh-huh. All right, everybody, into position. Yes. We're on. Rejoice and be glad in it. Let us pray. Merciful Father, we thank you with all our hearts that we are here today celebrating the gifts of your life and your love. Yesterday, many of us came far too close to the kind of terror and violence that we find hardest on your mercy alone. And this joyous occasion has all the more meaning for it. Amen. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today in the presence of God to witness and to bless the joining together of this man and this woman in holy matrimony. 
The bond and covenant of marriage was established by God at the creation, and our Lord Jesus Christ adorned this manner of life by his presence and first miracle at a wedding in Cana of Galilee. It signifies to us the mystery of the union between God and his church. Is it to be honored among all people? The union of husband and wife in heart, body, and mind was intended by God for their mutual joy, for the love and comfort they give one another in adversity and prosperity, and when it is God's will for the procreation of children and their nurture in the knowledge and the love of the Lord. Therefore, marriage is not to be entered into unadvisedly or lightly, but reverently and deliberately and in accordance with the purposes for which it was instituted by God. Into this holy union, Dylan and Margaret now come to be joined. If there is any among you who know of just speak now or else forever hold your peace. Dylan, do you take this woman to be your wife? To live with her in the covenant of marriage? Will you love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others be faithful to her as long as you both shall live? I do. Margaret, do you take this man to be your husband? To live together in the covenant of marriage? Will you love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others be faithful? take this woman to be your wife, to live with her in the covenant of marriage? Do you promise to love her, comfort her, honor and keep her, and forsaking all others be faithful to her as long as you both shall live? I do. Margaret, do you take this man to be your husband, to live with him in the covenant of marriage? Do you promise to love him, and all others be faithful to him as long as you both shall live? When the priest says, Margaret, do you take this man to be your husband? And the time has come to answer. The Margaret I know, the woman I love, and I do, with all my heart, that woman won't be able to utter those words, not to any living man, but me. this man to be your husband? I do. With all my heart. So, Lord, these rings to be a sign of the bond between this man and this woman through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. I give you this ring as a symbol of my vow, and with all that I am and all that I have, I honor you in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. 
What did you expect? Her whole life has been guided by fear. Some people, they see what they want and they go for it at the risk of losing everything. People like us, Patrick. Don't I give you this ring as a symbol of my vow? And with all that I am and all that I have, I honor you. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. People like Marty, they need to feel safe. They want to feel protected and secure, but Patrick, that is not you, and that is not me either. Let Marty, let her have her safety. We need more. We want more. Now that Dylan and Margaret have bound themselves to each other by solemn vows, the joining of hands, and the giving and receiving of rings, I pronounce that they are husband and wife. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, those whom God hath joined together, let no one put asunder. not have been there. Cassie, it's over. It's done. He left. The service went on. He was there for one reason, Andrew, to cause trouble. Now somebody should deal with him. Cassie, I, I think Marty did deal with him. Then why did he, why didn't he leave before the ceremony began? Why didn't he, why did he stick wait, around? Wait a minute, Cassie, were you telling me that Patrick was there before the ceremony? Dylan, I, I'm so I sorry. I want to tell you, I wanted to wait because I didn't want to upset you. Uh, Patrick came by when um, I was getting ready for the ceremony, he said he needed to talk to me. You know what? Somebody needs to take that guy out behind the woodshed and teach him a lesson. I mean... I was very direct with him. I told him I knew what I was doing. I knew what I wanted. I wanted to be Mrs. Dylan Moody, and now I am. All right. I did, uh, this, it still doesn't explain to me why he showed up and, and why he came into the church. I mean, in frankly, the of the way. Dylan, I think that he needed to see Marty say her vows. I think Andrew's right. It's probably a very good thing that he heard you two declare your love for each other. He may have been hurt, but at least he can no longer deny the truth. Well, you know what? I don't care if he's hurt or not. The next time I see that guy, I'll You know, I think maybe we've wasted enough time on Patrick and why he was there. No question about that. Well, from what I could see, he has Blair to keep him company. Well, I think what we should be talking about is the wedding, especially that part where the handsome doctor gave the bride away. <laughs> Excuse me, I think it's about time that we propose a toast to the beautiful bride. Here, here, here. Oh, I'll yeah. drink to that. Marty. 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 Marty.
most beautiful part of this day was all of you. You have truly become the family I never had to my friends. Oh, we'll all drink to that, darling. <laughs> mm. And <clears throat> to my husband. Yeah. Who happens to be the finest man I know. Oh, and the sexiest and the <laughs> sweetest. Keep and, going. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, and in case I forgot, the man who's made me the happiest woman alive. Here, here, here. No. No. <laughs> well, I'll resist the urge to say, I told you so. Good. Because I still think you're wrong. She loves Dylan. Nobody doubts that but you. Mm -hmm. And Patrick Thornhart. You heard Vicky. He just can't face the fact that she loves him. Yeah, maybe he can't face the fact because she won't stop leading him on. <sighs> and just look at her. She's so in love with her husband. Mm-hmm. So why did she hide Patrick at her house? What was she supposed to do? Just let him bleed to death? Well, look, I'm just saying. It's all convenient that, that she helps Patrick on the night of her wedding rehearsal, but nobody knows about it, especially Dylan. Well, why would she tell him and get him upset for no reason? No reason. Oh, wasn't it a lovely ceremony? Yeah. Great. <clears throat> just great. What? Andy? What did I say? Nothing. Yes, it was lovely, Carlotta. Uh, look this way, please. 